right y'all so it is friday vlog no style vimba day three okay and right now me and mr long we're getting ready to get dressed people got places to be and we don't okay so what's about to happen is hmm 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 what is about to happen is I'm about to get dressed we're gonna have a date night Jada has to be to work at 6 o'clock she get off at 10 so Jazz is on her way home so we like okay well are we dropping Jada off we can get dressed we can go do our little thing so you know we can be back by 10 to pick the shorty up and then if we plan on to venture somewhere else we'll already be ready and dressed you know what I'm saying so I am about to put together a date night look y'all it's 30 degrees outside today yeah temperature has dropped so i'm about to be cozy cozy where y'all going none of your business <laughs> none of your business exactly exactly you see how i did that see how she just walked away where y'all going Nanya? what's Nanya? Nanya damn business how about that anywho i'm gonna have a cozy fall look that is going to um have something to do with a couple pieces i'm gonna show out the pieces once i get out the shower then i'm gonna get my ass in the shower get my hair lay right don't really matter i probably ain't gonna wear my hair because it's cold outside y'all i'm putting on a hat today okay a hat and some boots i'm gonna pull this look together makeup and all and um let y'all do this with me hey. so today's outfit is going to consist of this mixed patterns print style top and it's kind of like a sweater that i got from zara last year you can button it up to make it a turtleneck if you'd like or you could just leave the flap down i'm gonna be wearing some refuge distressed skinny jeans um I'm going to be wearing these knee-high boots and this hat, this cabbie cap hat. And I'm going to pull this look together. And y'all, it is 4.35. My clock is set like 10 minutes fast. Oh, actually, no, it ain't. It's 4.35, okay? So, I'm going to get dressed because we got to be at the house by 9.30. I mean, by 5.30. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what kind of English is that? Okay, I'm gonna, y'all know what the hell I mean. All right, so I'm getting ready to do my makeup on camera and today's makeup is going to be us using Juvia's Place. So I said I was gonna do a review on it, but I actually want to go ahead, apply it full face, like not just for like, first time I wore it was on Halloween. So you're actually gonna see what, an everyday look can look like with Juvia's place and I'm gonna be using everything Juvia's uh, foundation concealer um, setting powder uh, eye eyeshadow blush and the only thing that won't be will be my setting powder and lip but everything's gonna be Juvia's place so now that I'm about to start my makeup because I ain't got that much time I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and I'm gonna just go through the process and let y'all watch okay let's go I can definitely tell you guys about Juvia's Place is that it definitely is a full coverage foundation like this is all I got on and y'all saw how much I've applied and it really does not take much at all period now on to applying the concealer
and bam, and bam, and bam, and bam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to show y'all the whole look. <clears throat> so, I have on, like I said, this Zara sweater that I bought last fall. And I bought this out of the Soho district. And I have on these Esquitarian style boots that I got from Charlotte Roos when I was working at Charlotte Roos. Got a little distress going on. So, you know, a little peekaboo with some skin. My Annie and Alex and Annie collection. My cabbie boy hat. And my coat of choice tonight is going to be my camo field jacket. Y'all know what time it is? It is 5.15. See, ain't no excuses that your ass can't get dressed in 30 to 45 minutes. Like, ain't no damn excuses, okay? Kill the excuses. Put the shit together and get dressed, damn it. You'll feel so much better if you did. Like, real talk. So now, y'all, it's my first time, like, wearing this makeup like for a look look and um whew. so far i can say um i think it leaves like a little sh like like white halo under the eye um that's what i see so far but for the most part like it's really good coverage i feel like i need to make my eyes pop Girl, what you talking about? You need to make your eyes pop. Like when I have a hat on, I don't like be liking like a shadowy look. So my coat is already downstairs. All I gotta do is grab it. So what I'm gonna pop in the corner of my eyes is this iridescent white right here. Give me a little, you know, highlight on the that area. Boom, boom, and just like that, your girl is ready. Now, I know everybody don't like to do a full face of makeup. Um, this is full face, okay? But y'all saw what time I started. 4.35, 5.15, head to toe. Like, took a shower, got dressed, did my face, brushed my hair, and put together a fly outfit, like, real quick. There's no need for people to be making excuses about you ain't got time. I done had all the time in the damn world ever since I done had kids. I've always made time. What's that, my cologne? Women don't wear cologne, Jada. Um, obviously I was talking about my dad. He just got out the shower. You're Which so, one is it? You're so pretty. I get it from my mother. <laughs> but I heard it right. Not James. She oh. said her mom. I look like my dad too. We got glasses on. I look just like him. They look like twins. She finna go make this money. And she I don't know, I ask him. I'm just trying to take the smell in. Which one? I don't know. Dad, which one is it? I think that was yours. Yeah, I think it's yours. Huh? Oh, put them in the the bag. You know where we uh okay. keep where we keep all the gift bags at. Where? Dom Dom stuff. In the garage. Dom. Not basement. Dom stuff. <laughs> Mom's like everybody has clothes on. Where's everybody going? About to leave his ass. Mama. What? There's no my clothes on. I want to go. Why are you looking? I'm not your mom. She's over there. Okay, so y'all, your daddy up up for watching a car still, right? Okay. Thank you. 
my Apple Watch on, y'all. Y'all know I don't just have like the plain Apple Watch band. Y'all know mine's gotta be a little fancy. It's time for me to order me a you new know, one though. Outside register, and I had to do that mess yesterday. You know how cold I was. That's why you need to make sure you bring a coat. It was cause um people buying plants and stuff. Really? It's cold outside. Don't mean nothing. Pretzels, mom. Oh. Coffee. Oh, you was making cooks. Look at that working girl. That's what I'm talking about. Do that shit, Craig. Do that. So this is what my phone case look like. Y'all yep, know I am a girly girl all the way. Uh, Apple iPhone XR. And I'm just um, stuffing this. This little bag be holding a lot, y'all. Okay? I'm going to do a review on Louis Vuitton. Because, um... That is like my favorite brand of handbag that I like to purchase. Clearly, is Louis Vuitton hands down, due to the fact that Louis Vuitton is like some good small leather goods that you can invest in and you will have for years. You take care of it, like y'all. I'm putting it in my wheel. Like who getting what? Okay, because I own a lot of Louis Vuitton. One, two, three, four, five on my shoulder five and i have one two three i have three chanel's i have five six louis vuittons and my next bag though i would like a celine you know y'all that costs a grip okay a celine is a grip it's a grip it's like up there with these bags too but um when I purchase a Celine, I will officially consider myself I done crossed over into another brand of fine leather goods, okay? However, y'all, if I can find me a knockoff Celine, <laughs> I am not afraid. How y'all like which how do y'all feel about like knockoffs? Okay, my coat. I got everything I need. Sorry y'all. We're going down somebody else now. Check you and me. Come to Allah. Come to Allah. So y'all, yeah. daddy, we be getting it. All his cards he got for his birthday. Keep them on display all month long, all month long. Get my coat. Cause it is brr here in New Jersey, okay? Like the weather just done turned up a whole bunch of notches so I'm wearing this coat right here and yep I got on a lot of print ask me do I care no I don't why cuz my name is Stephanie Long yes Yes, but because all the colors come together, they complement one another. So when you're doing that, you can do that, okay? Okay. Alright, so we is on our date night. Mr. Long behind me, y'all. He locking the car up. I'm gonna go to one of our favorite little spots. It's called Havana Central. And it's at um, the Menlo Location Mall. And they got some good Cuban like food. It's long taking a long ass time. So, I like this little restaurant. Yes. Oh, I know they had brunch here. Might be checking this out. Come on, baby daddy. This is what it looks like inside, y'all. Cubana. This is my my man. So Mr. Long has passion fruit lemonade. And I have a cranberry sangria. 
And it's got like Hennessy in it. It's what? It's like when we went to Dominica. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take, like, ma mama. It brings you back to Dominica. <laughs> I had something like that in DR, huh? That's good. That's really good. Yeah. So, Mr. Long order, what you order? Garlic chicken? With shrimp. Hold on, let me pronounce what I ordered. I ordered rabi, rabo, and sidiro, which is braised oxtail stew with black beans and yellow rice. They don't know what the girl was like. I don't think you're gonna like it because I don't like it. Okay, so now we are about to eat some Caribbean. No. She did say something about Caribbean wings, like jerk wings. I'm about to have that. It smells delicious. Woo! Alright. Now I gotta go rush and get these tickets because they wanna go see my lipstick. So my baby daddy went to go put my little doggy bag in the car. He gonna drive around and I'm brushing. Ooh, them shoes is cute. Y'all see how easy it's just to distract it. Show sure Liz. Hey, how are you? Fine. Oh, I love your boots. Oh, thank you. This is cute. I like these. These black ones. 20% off. Let's see. Mm. Style member in effect, y'all. Oh, this is cute, too. I'm loving this bag. I'm loving this bag. And I'm loving this one, too. In that color, that burgundy. This is hot. Okay, y'all, it ain't about me, though. It's not about me this week, okay? If y'all wondering why sister is out of breath, y'all know I got four flights, right? I just walked all the way up. Then I had to go all the way back down to get this. So, it's just a little out of breath, okay? Jim been helping me, you know, getting acclimated still. Ain't bad as it used to be. However, let's judge this this Juvia's Place Foundation. So, this is what I'm gonna say. I'm feeling it. I told y'all I had great coverage. This is it oxidized and I have it. It's 11.05, so six and a half hours later. This is what it looks like six hours later. No blotting, no nothing. Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna, let's see how it do. Just, you know, suck up the oils. Do we like this? Do we like this foundation? I don't think it's bad. I don't. Um, I'm not quite sure if I bought the correct shade. Because I got the shade Punta Cana. And that's in... This Punta Cana 435. And Fenty Beauty for. 50. Juvia's Place definitely is thicker, more full coverage. Um, Fenty Beauty to me is a foundation that's more like skin and I like the way it feels and it's also buildable. Um, you saw how much I used and it did good. It did really, really good, I must say. Um, I think like I probably would use Juvia's Place if I run out of my Fenty Beauty um, and like I ain't got to the stove. I'm not usually one to be like that because y'all like I keep the back up on standby, okay? Like I already got another MAC um, 
prolonged wear. I already got another MAC mineralized skin finish in the draw. Um, but I don't have a new Fenty bottle. Um, and I just recently up, re-upped on my Fenty Beauty concealer. So, I probably got, if y'all can see that from the light, like about right there. That's a whole nother month for me, you know. Because if you take care of your skin, y'all, you won't have to use a whole lot of makeup. And I told y'all, some people take hour an hour or more to just beat their face like literally if i had to i could get ready in 15 20 minutes and i'm telling y'all i could do it i might not do my brows but i definitely have on a base log cap and everything be pulled a little like this definitely a pop on some lashes and if i ain't got time to do nothing else gloss will be applied anywho so that's my Ish on Juvia's place. So now I'm gonna get undressed and I'm gonna get in my cuddle clothes and I'm gonna go upstairs. And like I said, I'm gonna go upstairs with my baby daddy and I'm gonna get in bed and cuddle with him. Maleficent was great. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Angelie Jolie, she, that bone structure. I can't even do it, okay? But y'all, to keep your boots standing up, I'm going to show y'all a little trick. See, that boot's standing up all by itself, okay? And what you do is, you take old magazine, you know, old after you done took your clippings and got all your advice out of them and stuff like that. You take your boot, zip it up, fold it up, sticks it inside. So it sits and voila, boot stand. Hmm. All my stand up over the knee boots is in stuff like that. Anywho, y'all, I'm about to close this vlog out, but let me just mention something to y'all. I'm gonna leave this with y'all to ponder on, and we'll talk about this tomorrow more in day four. Okay. I posted something on Facebook because I saw this and I was like wow you know this is this is sparking up some like conversation okay and this is what i posted i said i can't be friends with women who secretly envy me can you let's discuss let's in the next vlog you guys can leave your comments down below but I'm going to repeat what I posted was, I can't be friends with women who secretly envy me. Can you? Let's discuss. And y'all, the reason I put this is because sometimes sometimes people who you may think are for you may um, naturally not be for you and what's that old saying goes keep your enemies close but keep your friends closer or is it the other way around keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer either or child please they both have significance okay and i just was explaining to people i haven't recently experienced this but i have experienced this in the past um, and it don't necessarily got to be people who you're friends with. It could be people who you work with. It could be people who, you know, your spouse might know or, you know, um, people you meet in passing. Um, but y'all like associates, you know, it could be shit like that. Not necessarily a friend. However, the people who we keep close them are some of the people that we do have to keep our eyes on and sometimes people can secretly be doing that and they just there was a lot of questions like stuff how and why do you think people would do that how do you know they doing it trust me it's a vibe it's a vibe that i can't even explain but when your gut know and you know people aren't genuine for you or generally genuinely with you 
God gives us a seventh scent, and it's called It's a Vibe. We're discussing um vlog four, um style number four. I will read y'all the comments, and we're gonna have a girl time discussion because sometimes you never know. That's all I'm gonna say. But I thought it was good conversation since I've been missing from Facebook for so long. Why not spark up conversation? Okay, so. I'm about to de-glamorize because I'm going to the Philly Flea Market in the morning. And I ain't missing it. Bond already getting his beauty sleep. He already getting geared up for it because he get to go to the market because it's outdoors. And we're going to talk. We're going to talk about this because this is a discussion to be had. If you agree, thumbs up. Have you been a victim Somebody that was secretly envious of you. And don't tell me y'all envious and jealousy ain't the same thing. Because yes, the hell it is. Now, admiration, envious, and jealousy. Those are not the same things. However, envious and jealousy, same damn thing. Nobody can convince me otherwise, okay? <laughs> okay. Envious is, en the word envy is one of the dead se seven deadly sins, okay? Come on now. And envious means jealous. 